Good morning, everyone. Welcome to, to Barcelona. Welcome to the School of Civil Engineering here at the UPC. I would like to start saying, uh, apologizing by the weather, but not, because there are two positive things. One is the sights we have of the mountain here in Tibidabo, the right side, and the other is that it's the second time snowing this year in Barcelona, and the probability of having snow is one uh, once per every four years, and this is the second, second time. So the probability is one time every 100 years, so it's an historical day today in Barcelona. So it's a positive thing. Yeah. So having said this, uh, welcome again. Um, I have the honor of sharing this table with uh, all the people what I'd like to, to introduce. First, uh, we have the honor of having here the uh, Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Research Policy at the UPC, Professor uh, Gabriel Bucheda at the center. At his uh, left side, uh, jo uh, Johan uh, Winke, think, is okay, the actual president of RILEM. At uh, the other side is uh, Professor uh, Ravindra Getu, a Dean and Consultancy and Research of ITT Mandras. At the right stream, we have Esperanza Menendez. She's uh, the head of Physical Chemical Testing uh, Division and the Instituto Eduardo Torroja and in CSIC. And myself, I'm uh, Albert de la Fuente. I'm associate professor here at the UPC. I'm, I'm very pleased that RELM has uh, chosen Barcelona and this school and the university for ho hosting the first uh, spring event of the RELM. We are very honored of this for this. And um, the other thing I would like to mention is just th uh, give thanks to AFIB and ACI to support this event and uh, specifically and particularly to the sponsors. Uh, Parex, IECA, and uh, Beton Catalan and Agaur for economically sponsoring this event. So, as we have a very tight uh, schedule, I'm going to give the word to uh, Johan to present RILEM and, and other things. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning also to every one of you. Thank you, Albert, for the nice introduction. Thank you also for pointing out that it's a historical day, and I think it's a historical day in many respects for many people here. And I'll try to sum up uh, some reasons why it's uh, historical. It's definitely historical also not only for the snow and the fact that we had sun yesterday, but uh, for the fact of being the first convention, uh, RILEM, uh, the first spring convention RILEM is uh, running, and we are really honored to be uh, here present at the uh, your institute for uh, doing that. So, um, well, I, I have no slides. It's a little bit unusual. Uh, I start to feel like uh, becoming um, maybe a politician. That they have the ability to speak without slides. But I still want to say some words about RILEM. But if I look around, I see many people in the room who know RILEM, of course. So it's uh, not necessary to recapitulate what it is. Um, for for uh, them, and uh, I see also uh, for quite new faces here locally. So for them, it's quite interesting to point some aspects out for Ilem, and therefore I would like to uh, invite you to have a glance at our annual report, which we prepared for the second time uh, here for the occasion of uh, the the meeting. And especially it's uh, good for the new people to uh, contact also the colleagues who are already RILEM members and to speak uh, with them and to get information about the benefit of being a, RILEM, a member of RILEM and the reasons of being uh, within RILEM. So much or everything in RILEM has to do with technical uh, aspects and to meet experts and exchange ideas with uh, technical experts from all over the globe and being able to work in uh, technical committees. You will find some information on the technical committees in, in the report and you will see the plans of activity uh, which we are uh, setting up. One of the major events RILEM is uh, running is the annual week. So the next annual week, I can profit from the occasion to announce it also. It's in, in Delft with our colleagues from the TU Delft. So it's in uh, August this year, 
And to speak about these annual uh, meetings, it's in fact been so successfully that we get offers to organize the annual meeting that it's getting difficult to slot it in in our agenda. So we are filled up already with bookings until 2023, if I'm uh, well informed. And also this you can find in the report. So we have been discussing about other opportunities to have these more broader gatherings, not only on technical matters, but also with our um, standing committees. And so uh, Mark Alexander, the past president who's uh, sitting over there, came up with the idea of uh, also organizing a convention, just like ACI is doing it. So we've been in Detroit uh, last year, and there we uh, got the plan of uh, organizing this convention. And we had to be fast because normally, as I said, we're planning this uh, much in advance. So we were so lucky through uh, Ravindra also to get in contact with you here at UPC and to be able to uh, organize it. So the other thing to be coming back to historical things, it's uh, um, RILEM is about, as I said, technical things and meeting experts, but it's also very much about young people. And also this we will see today when we listen to the Colinetti uh, Medal Awards. So it's reaching out to young people and have the ability of, of mixing and, and giving opportunities for young people to uh, meet with the experts. So I'm sure that for the people who get their award, the Colonetti Award today, it's also a very historical day for them. They will uh, very well and uh, good remember. So um, of course also after uh, a first convention, it's the idea to continue and to start a process which you want to continue. And I think this is also what we are good at in RILEM. We take new initiatives and then we drive them through and we try to uh, get the follow-up on that. So it's a nice thing also to be able to announce already uh, before the start of the first convention, the second convention, which will uh, be held in Croatia uh, next year in, in uh, March also, at uh, the same period approximately. And uh, there's also a booklet available where you can have this information. So um, for the rest, I'm looking very much forward for uh, having the meeting today. We uh, were with, with the people from the standing committee slotted in, in many, many meetings. So after the, the conference, uh, we still have some other meetings going on. And we will be a meeting in the morning tomorrow in parallel with the the um, uh, workshop from Springer and then looking very much also towards the visit which you offered on uh, Wednesday. So with uh, this I think we are looking to a very interesting uh, two days and uh, which we will have uh, good memories on. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that for a lot of people it will be a very nice remembrance <laughs> of being here in Barcelona. Thank you. Ravindra, please. Yeah. Buen día. Agradezco mucho la organización de la primera convenio primaveral de RILEM para la UPC y la Escuela de Camins. Es un placer para nosotros estar aquí en esta ciudad tan bonita. Personalmente, para mí, es como tornar a casa. Thank you very much the, to the university and the school for having this event and the historical first convention. Uh, you uh, turned on very nice weather yesterday, and I suppose tomorrow as well. And you made sure that we don't go out today and we sit at the convention. Well, um, it's personally and um, uh, uh, it's personally an honor for me that this uh, convention is dedicated to a friend, a mentor, and a colleague, uh, Professor Antonio Aguado, who is here. He doesn't speak much, so I will also not speak much about him. Yeah, he lets his work talk uh, for him. He joined the Universidad Politecnica de Catalunya in 1976 after studying and working at the uh, School of Civil Engineering in Santander. He became a chair professor in, uh, in the school in the Department of uh, Construction Technology in 1987 and has had a lot of positions, such as the head of the department and the School of Civil Engineering, this school. He, he, was, he made a lot of landmark changes in the school, the way the school worked and uh, set 
uh, roadmap for many changes that have occurred since then. Probably one of his major achievements was to focus on technology transfer, concrete technology, and he started a very strong construction technology or concrete technology group. And this led to, I think, one of the reference labs in, uh, uh, in Europe, which is now called the Luis Agulio Structural Technology Laboratory, after one of our colleagues who passed away some time back. He has always emphasized technology transfer, and we had a RILEM workshop here in this, in this place 25, almost 25 years back, where we had stalwarts such as Suru Shah, Zdenek Bajant, Carmen Andrade, and many, many others who sort of emphasized the need to take technology from the lab to the industry. And he was telling me anecdotes uh, yesterday of how that meeting changed the way that many major construction companies handle their R&D. And that made construction companies do R&D or research and not just do uh, the business as usual. He has also been involved with startups. And um, he has a very strong international network. I think there is no country in South America without one of his students. And uh, many, many are here, and uh, uh, the network is really impressive, and uh, it is developing further. So I would like to congratulate, thank Antonio, and thank the organizers for having this event in his honor. Thank you, Antonio. Now Esperanza is going to present briefly the, the workshop. The main ideas. Thank yeah. you, Albert. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, first of all, many thanks to the UPC for the organization of seminar, and also uh, to the people that co-organize with uh, me or, or I with them the seminar. That is uh, Sergio Cavallaro, Albert de la Fuente, and Ravinda Gretu. Was a, plus, a pleasure to, to to work with you. Is very easy and very kind. And I want to I want to introduce the seminar we have uh, separated in, in two main parts one about durability another about uh, new materials and technology but at the end they are not uh, com uh, close uh, issues uh, all of the presentation is uh, open uh, are open question and open issue to to be discussed now and in the future also, it's not possible to, to have uh, new technologies or new materials if we are not as uh, guarantee the security, the durability to apply this, uh, this kind of materials. Uh, the um, uh, contribution are um, based in the uh, international experience. We are discussing this type of issues uh, uh, in the um, uh, TCs or international groups and encourage you to participate in the seminar, not only to, to listen the exposition, also to discuss and to participate with, the, with questions or other comments. With the with the speakers and also in the coffee break during the the lunch and so on, I encourage you that uh, participate uh, openly in the seminar. Many thanks. And Thank you, Esperanza. And for <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for f making official this opening and this event, I give the word to the vice chancellor of the UPC. Uh, Professor Gabriel Buscheda, please. Thank you very much. Uh, I will just take a, a couple of minutes to to welcome all of you. This is a it's an honor and also a pleasure to be here, uh, first in representation of uh, of the rector of the university, and second as a member of this uh, civil engineering in school, where uh, today, for instance, I have uh, met again after many many years a good friend uh, since more than 20 years ago. Uh, 12 years. Yeah. And also uh, Antonio, uh, 
as uh, one of my teachers when I was uh, getting my, my degree some years ago, and also as a director of the school in the time, some years later, where I was also working with him as a, a subdirector. Okay, so um, I am not go taking more of your time, uh, and then I can declare officially open this, uh, this uh, Congress. Thank you very much. Well, the event is officially opened, so let's continue with, uh, with the next step, which is the delivery of the Colonetti medals. I'm going to give a pass for Nicola Roussel, and we should move okay. from here. Okay.